A single candle and an outdoor lantern turns into many due to the reflection of the glass. This photo, taken recently one evening while on the patio, reminds me that, just like this candle, the Spirit finds a way to shine in and through us, reflecting light and love out into the world. Jesus reminds us in Matthew 5.14 that we are the light of the world. So even though we need to stay apart for a while, may we continue to find creative ways to let it shine for all to see. The inspiration for this piece was my granddaughter at age two. We were on a beach, and as I watched her play, I was overcome with God's love in her and felt my own heart become full of that love. This piece, done in colored pencil, um, has the words, El amor todo lo puede on it, um, which translates to love always can, um, or love conquers all, love always wins, that sentiment. Um, it depicts um, El Torragos, which is the national bird of El Salvador, and I made it for a friend who um, has deep connect connections to El Salvador, and um, because I cannot see him due to the pandemic, I sent this to him to remind him of um, my love for him and my appreciation for him, as he is a really great mentor to me. This piece that's currently untitled um, is done in acrylic paint, water paints, and um, there's some applique broken CD pieces on it. Um, it depicts a child um, falling, but also because of the brush strokes around, um, the child seems somewhat static. This is inspired by um, the many kids and families that St. Peter, Peter's has interacted with in Cincinnati, um, the kids that I've personally met and I've connected with, um, the child depicted here, I thought of lots of features of the children and the families that live there and tried to incorporate um, those to embody a child that represents many different children. Um, and kind of the situation and the lifestyle that those kids are stuck in. About a month ago, I discovered an online website to make digital mandalas. I always thought mandalas were pretty and fun to draw, but I really didn't know much about their meaning. So I just did an internet search. Mandala means circle in Sanskrit and is a, sim a spiritual symbol in Hinduism and Buddhism representing the universe. People can use mandalas for meditation. Creating mandalas has helped me to relax and let go of the stresses in this crazy virtual pandemic ridden world. Here are a few of my favorites. My name is Hetty Sutton and the name of my piece is Anchored. The medium is ink. I was trying to imagine how to convey the prompt of spirituality in a virtual world. This made me think about all of us with the intricacies of our lives in our separate houses. Although our separation is real, we are still connected by our faith and hope in this trying time as well as our concern and love for one another. This reminded me of a mandala with its complex individual patterns and interconnected overall design. If you look carefully, you might see the anchors in my design. I'm sailing with my wife Leslie this summer. It is the first time she's been well enough to do this in several years, and we're very grateful for the chance to enjoy this activity together. The anchor when you are sailing represents some safety, a hope that you will not drift away while you are at rest. I believe this is similar to the Christian meaning of the anchor as well, hope and steadfastness. Both are required in the strange time we find ourselves in now. For this art wall's theme, I thought a lot about how Wi-Fi signals and radios emit waves, just like boats do on water. The now is like being in a boat. Boats must keep some distance from others so that they do not risk crashing and sinking. It's easy during this time of the pandemic to feel like you're adrift and alone on open water, but in reality, even though we are all in our own separate little boats, the water still connects us. 
If I drag my hand through the water, ripples will reach someone else's boat. The ripples from their boat will also extend out and collide with other ripples. To me, this is what the Holy Spirit looks like. Ripples radiate and connect us. The Spirit is not tangible, but we can still see how it affects us. Ripples send messages, just like we send messages through Zoom calls, emails, social media, and text messages. They are all ways for us to connect. God is like the water, his children are the boats, and the Spirit is the one thing that connects God to his people. It is the one thing that is directly affected by our participation in message, prayer, and connection.